how to be a medical student at the University of Alberta. Think you've got what it takes to study medicine at the U of A? Here are 24 tips for the 2024s on how to be a successful medical student. Follow these easy tips and med school at the U of A will be a breeze. Step one, decide that you want to be a medical doctor when you grow up and that you want to learn how at the University of Alberta. Look pre-med, everything the light touches is our faculty. Wow. One day, the sun will set on my time here and will rise with you as a new first year medical student. Sick. So, getting into med isn't that hard, right? Step two, complete the following. High school, an undergrad degree, the MCAT, maybe a completely different career for a hot minute, optional graduate studies, U of A application, the CASPER test, and get ready for the MMI. Now that you're ready for med school, it's time to get the essentials. An admission letter, your white coat, one card, a winter jacket, a positive attitude, and a stethoscope. Now get the non-essentials, your MSA backpack, a suture kit, a Tim's reward card, a medical journal subscription, personal scrubs, a pager, and a bunch of supplementary textbooks you may or may not ever open. Update your social media profiles to let everyone know you're a med student. Hey man. Hey, hey how's it going? Ooh, Instagram? Yeah, just let my followers know I've gotten to med school. Ooh, awesome. You should add some more hashtags in there. Hey, uh, could you help me with my profile? Oh yeah, let's check it out. Ooh. No way. Looks great. Oh, damn. Next, learn your way around campus. Hey, uh, do you know where CSB is? Where's that guy? Etcha? Ika. Ika, where is Ika? Where's Kate? That must be him. Is anybody here? Hey, oh, oh, Dr. Walji! Dr. Walji! Wait, wait, wait for me, I'm coming! Ask senior students for advice, but take it with a grain of salt. Honestly, I would recommend shadowing as much as you possibly can first year. It'll take so much stress off of you down the line when you're trying to match the carbs. Honestly, forget about shadowing. Hitting the books, that's what's really important. So if I were you, I'd spend a ton of time studying immunology. Those interleukins are gonna get you every single time. It's super high yield. I mean, yeah, studying is important, but like, if I were you, don't focus on immunology. Barely tested last year, and in my opinion, interleukin, interschmugin. I know you feel rich now, but be careful how you spend your money. It's really easy to max out your student line of credit on Timmy's. Line of credits, they are the best. Me and the girls, we pooled a bunch of ours, we bought a plane. Next week, going to Bora Bora. Find yourself a study buddy. Efficiency is the name of the game. I usually start with a super set of Pomodoro, 15 minutes each, no more, no less. Then right after that, I chuck some creatine and whey protein, wash it down with BCAs, get that pump going, you know what I mean? And then right after, I get some isolation curls, super set it with some lecture notes, and then I finish off with a nice set of curls. When I study, I don't worry about the little details, because treating a patient is about treating their whole body, from the head, to the shoulders, to the knee, to the toes, and back up again. The human body is a canvas. Honestly, going to class, sure, it's important, but the real stuff, the good stuff, is when you shadow, go to emerge, do an immersive, deliver some babies, cut people up. It's about the experience. I raise my flashcards by topic, character count, color, and the chronological order of our lectures. Uh, I try to do them at least once a day, but if I'm honest, I do them 20 times a day. And it's been helping me do really well on my exams, but it, it does get overwhelming at times. Maybe I should switch to Anki. Figure out what business casual means the hard way. Thank you so much for meeting with me. My
Try something new. Yes. Use medical jargon whenever possible. So, what's happening with Mrs. White? Mrs. White is presenting with a two-day history of acute solar erythema. She is slightly pyrexic and is currently experiencing intermittent diaphoresis. So, she has a sunburn. Practice your procedural skills on fruit. Hillary, get down here! Now practice your skills on friends. Thanks for letting me practice on I'm gonna ace my Oski. There's just one more thing left to do. Get enough vitamin D. Text from Marcus. Capitalize on lunch talks. Hey man, what's happening? Just meal prepping for the week. Dude, why would you meal prep? There's like lunch talks all week. Oh, sick. That lecture, so on point. I've always wanted to go into pediatrics. Emergency med, super cool. I've always wanted to be an ER doc. Plastics. 
Hell yes. I've always wanted to be a plastic surgeon. Take hand washing very seriously. What are you doing? Your hands should be pointed up, elbows down, so that bacteria washes away from your hands down your arm. It's not a septic technique. Plus your nails are like super dirty. You didn't use a nail pick. Dude, we just finished lab. We're going to class. Whoa, 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 contamination. You touch the tab. You gotta start over. Love your medical heroes. Take advantage of self-directed learning. This is a great chance to study, catch up on chores, shadow, practice self-care, or volunteer. But remember, self-directed learning does not mean nap time. Diagnose yourself with a disease that you learned about in class. Hey, can you check on my fingernails? Um, like what about them? Don't you see? I have a splinter hemorrhage right there. I think you just need a manicure. No, no, no. Also, I have this Janeway lesion on my foot. See? That looks like a mole. But, but, also, I've lost like half a pound in the past two months and I've been feeling a little bit tired lately. So logical diagnosis, endocarditis? I knew it, I knew I had endocarditis. I had to go talk to my doctor. Take care of your stethoscope. Hi everyone, welcome to Glam Mad XOXO. So today we're gonna to be doing a highly requested video on how to take care of your stethoscope. But before we get started, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you could check out my Patreon to support me during my dermatology residency. So today, I'm gonna to use my um, Lipman Cardiology 4 to demo this for you. And all you really need are your 70% isopropyl alcohol wipes. So we're gonna start with the earpiece. Make sure you get the other one. And I go down to the neck. And ew, this goes around your neck, so make sure you definitely get that MRSA. And lastly, we're gonna get to the diaphragm. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to like and subscribe. Till next time, stay smart and stay glamorous. Find your squad. Share your love of medicine with your friends. Wow, this new season of Grey's Anatomy is so great. I could never have seen that coming. So good, In incredible acting. But yeah, that's not how we learn to do suturing. Like, that's totally not how you do a horizontal mattress stitch. That's not how you break bad news to a patient. Wow, totally insensitive. This is ridiculous. <laughs> What? People are way too busy top affairs with their coworkers. That stuff never happens. 
gosh. <laughs> you didn't even include gout in the differential diagnosis? I mean, pain, obesity, diabetes? This is garbage. Wow, I'm in first year med school and this show is basically unwatchable. Where's everyone? Make plans for the summer months, but don't feel pressured to get involved with anything you don't actually want to do. Have fun. Make and share some good study playlists. Nobody worrying. Pass the curriculum. Yeah, yeah. I remember them can't study nights and nothing. Write the nice and nice and with some other. Congrats on the interview, and thanks for coming to see our school. Remember to enjoy wherever life takes you, and we hope to see you next year. How's that? We're done, right? <laughs>